simple comparison of guitar tricks and jam play. And I'm just going to screencast this article that I put together that has a bunch of tables and it just sort of has stats and uh, data and grades for these two programs side by side. Um, they're both really good. Uh, I've used them both a lot, recommend them to a lot of people, and know a lot of the guys that work for these companies. They're good companies, and they have really good programs. So what I'm going to do is just kind of go through and give a really simple comparison uh, through uh, this article. And, of course, I'll link to the article in the, in the video description, and I'll link to trials for each of the programs as well. Um, clicking on those and checking out a free trial or buying a subscription to either program helps out the channel, helps out Guitar Chalk. Um, but, of course, you don't have to do that. You can just check out the video and then go check out the site yourself whatever works so we're gonna start with um, uh, this first comparison chart here and I'm not going to show you videos or screenshots of the programs with the, like I said you can check out those in the video description or you can check out the reviews that I've written I'll link to those there as well um, but I'm just gonna look at just the, the direct comparison just kind of the numbers and the grades and the strengths and weaknesses of these two programs so this first chart just has some basic uh, information about um, the content available, uh, what it, uh, what each program covers, and kind of some of the costs and the membership. Um, so first off, uh, Guitar Tricks has been around a little bit longer than Jamplay. Guitar Tricks started in I think 1998, and there are over three million members uh, as of this year. I think that number might be higher now. That's uh, the 2018, I think, is when they, they last reported that, and jam play is uh, quite a bit lower. Um, but again, these numbers are probably higher right now. Uh, and they, the free trial period, Guitar Tricks is going to be 14 days. Uh, jam play offers one for seven days. They also offer now a 30-day free trial, um, which is uh, a, a little bit, I think, a little bit different than their seven-day free trial. Uh, and one requires a credit card and one doesn't, so that's changed a little bit. Uh, number of lessons, Guitar Tricks is ahead in that department around 11,000. Jam play is 5,500. Jam play is a little bit stronger in terms of the variety uh, of content they cover, or I guess the, um, the variation, they cover a little bit more in terms of styles. So if you go on their style page, they're gonna have more listed. They cover some more um, nuanced, kind of unique uh, study areas. And they also have a lot more instructors. They've got uh, some, some recognizable names on there. Uh, that teach some songs and, and teach a, a few courses. So they have kind of a wide variety of people instructing, whereas Guitar Tricks has more of a condensed group of instructors that show up more often um, on, on a lot of different courses. Um, monthly price is roughly the same, uh, about 20 bucks uh, each if you don't look at promos or discounts or anything like that. And then the yearly price, Guitar Tricks is going to be a little bit more expensive, while uh, Jamplay, I think, hovers around $160 for their yearly membership. So this second table just kind of deals with the quality of material you get at each skill level. So basically what I did was I gave a grade to each program, just kind of on a scale of you know A through F, like a like a typical grading system, uh, and this just kind of gives you a loose idea of where the programs are good and where they're um, maybe not so good in relation to one another. And just keep in mind this is subject subjective to an extent. This isn't meant to be scientific or totally comprehensive. This is just kind of based on my experience having used these programs a lot and having kind of studied them to uh, write the reviews that I've written uh, and put out the content that I've put out. This is my general impression what I've what I've often heard people saying about guitar tricks and jam play. So in beginner lessons, uh, that sort of guitar tricks wheelhouse, they don't they don't have really any weaknesses in that particular area. They're really, really good for beginners, really, really good with the way they have their content organized. Jam play is too, they just aren't quite as tight. They aren't quite as um, ideal for the beginner as Guitar Tricks is. So if that's sort of where you fall, um, Guitar Tricks is a better program to start with, uh, and they're gonna be a little bit more conducive to what a beginner wants to see and what's gonna be helpful to a beginner navigating through content and figuring out where to start and what to uh, go through in which order. Uh, in the intermediate category, I would probably say uh, Jam Play is a little bit better. Both programs are really good. Um, Guitar Tricks doesn't 
they don't fade out after their beginner content like some programs. They have a lot uh, for all skill levels, but Jamplay is definitely better equipped, like I was saying, in regards to the variety of style that they have and the, and the breadth of, of musical genres that they touch on in their courses. They're a little bit better if you are kind of coming out of the beginner stages and you want to you know, maybe focus on a particular style or maybe kind of niche down into something a little bit more specific. Uh, and the same is true with advanced lessons. I would say guitar trick starts to fall off a little bit if you're an advanced player. Um, there's not gonna be as much there for you to work with, not gonna be as much to kind of challenge you. Although you can you can get a lot out of it, especially with like their song lessons, and there is of course advanced content that you can start to get into. But generally speaking, jam play is just going to be a better fit for that. It's going to be more uh, challenging. It's going to give you uh, actually a, a decent amount of content that you can work with, and that'll be kind of challenging, um, and and that'll help you expand your skill set. For for topical order and organization, Guitar Tricks is is far and away the the best program for this. And and when I say topical order, uh, I'm just talking about like the way they have organized their content based on skill level and kind of the way that they uh, prioritize certain things before teaching you other things. So they're they, they've just always been really, really good at this, and it's kind of what sets them apart from a lot of the other programs out there. Uh, Jamplay does a pretty good job with this, but they're not as strong. They they could, um, I think they it's going to be harder because they do have a wider range of styles that they touch on, so it's a little bit harder to organize it. And their beginner courses aren't as tightly organized as Guitar Tricks, so we're going to give the edge to Guitar Tricks in that category. Okay, so this table primarily deals with um, site structure uh, and user experience, kind of the way the site is designed. Um, since these programs are web-based, we want to give a rating to uh, the design aspects because I think that's important, an important part of how you experience an online tool or an online app of, of, of any kind, really. Um, so we just gave some basic uh, grades for a few different categories here. Uh, the the homepage design um, both are pretty good. It's it's a little bit you know you're not going to mess that up too bad, especially when the user doesn't spend a ton of time on that before they log in. Um, once you get to the user dashboard, Guitar Tricks is a lot clearer. It's a lot easier to understand. Um, Jamplay isn't bad, but it's it's a little bit less updated. Um, not quite as clear where to start. You you have a little bit of um, just you, you lose some clarity going from the Guitar Tricks user dashboard to the Jamplay user dashboard. We like Guitar Tricks better for that. Course navigation, that kind of goes back to the, what I was saying about topical order, where you have a better organized program in Guitar Tricks and a little bit more helter skelter in Jamplay. Again, Jamplay is not bad, it's just not, it doesn't have the navigational elements that Guitar Tricks has set up to make it really easy to get from one lesson to another. Um, the same is true in interior course navigation. Both uh, programs are really good, but we we kind of feel like jam plays like once you get into the course um, moving around is maybe a little bit easier uh, there, there isn't a ton of difference there we give a little bit of edge to jam play just because that the process there is a little bit smoother um, main menu uh, they're both fine not uh, really not too much to again not too much you can screw up there just kind of a basic interface for both programs and then with the modern aesthetic a modern design uh, guitar tricks is a little bit ahead of a curve there when you're on jam play you feel like you're maybe a little bit behind the times, especially when you get into the user dashboard um, and kind of inside the logged in area. Uh, but but neither one are bad, and it doesn't it doesn't take away a ton uh, from the uh, sort of the the meat of the content, the uh, the aesthetic and kind of the feel of it isn't tremendously important. Um, you're still going to get a lot out of both sites in that regard. So the next chart we're going to look at is just a comparison of the video uh, video player features and kind of the the usability of the video player. And we highlight that just because uh, these programs are built off of streamable video, um, kind of in a Netflix format. But the video player that they use is really important because it's kind of what you stare at most of the time is what you're going to use the most often. Um, and the, the functionality here is uh, uh, important to make note of. Um, so we look for a few different features, you know, the kind of the tempo, being able to slow down or speed it up. Um, we look at HD options uh, is of course important, especially as you get into newer, newer videos. Um, section looping, um, we look at like full screen quality, like how good does it look when you maximize the screen, stuff like that. Um, the the back end is just the uh, basically where the video is served from. So some people, uh, some companies will do YouTube, 
Uh, we don't like that quite as much. We'd like to see maybe a specialized paid server like Wistia, um, or uh, I, think, I think Fender Play has their own. Uh, and then sometimes there can be social features like allowing you to share, or allowing you to interact with um, instructors, uh, and that's something you want to look at here as well. But just, just to go down the line here, um, uh, Jampay does a little bit better with their uh, tempo control. Um, I think both video players have that. Uh, we'd like Jamplay's a little bit more, a little bit more responsive. HD options are pretty similar across the board. I would say um, Jamplay is going to have a little bit, maybe a little bit more likely to have um, the the 4K videos up. Uh, but that kind of just depends on how new the content is. They, they don't go back. Neither side is going to go back and refilm for um, an upgraded. Uh, um, uh, video quality. Uh, they're, they're, you know, a lot of lessons are going to be in 720p, and that's fine. That's not really a big deal. Um, section looping is on both video players, so that's fine. Uh, we just gave each one sort of an equal passing grade there. Uh, full screen quality and pixelation. We liked the way Jamblaze videos came off a little bit more. Like I said, a lot of those were shot in 4K, so they just looked better on these bigger screens. Um, on the on like like if you're on an iPhone or um, an iPad or a tablet or something, you're not really going to be able to tell the difference. But on these bigger screens, when you, you blow up the picture and you're watching it at a full screen, uh, it's definitely we definitely like Jamblaze video quality a little bit more there. Um, for the back end, like I said, Guitar Trick uses the Wistia uh, paid service, which is you know pretty responsive. It's pretty uh, fast and, and doesn't seem to have a hard time loading or anything like that. And with Jamplay, we're really not sure what they're using. Um, that's not necessarily, I have a Red X there, but that's not necessarily a problem. It's just, it'd be nice to know. It'd be nice to um, get a little bit of a picture of where the back end uh, came from and how they have that set up. But that's not a big deal. Um, and then for social features, uh, Guitar Tricks doesn't really have any of that. Jamplay um, works that in a little bit, so they get the edge in that category. Okay, so we're on to the second to last chart, uh, and that is going to be on supplemental material, which uh, is just anything that the program offers in addition to the videos, right? So you have the video element, which is obviously the most crucial, but then you have things like tar tabs, you have diagrams for chords and scales, if you're looking at that. Um, you can have audio files. Uh, you can have the ability to interact with the instructor. Um, some programs even have guitar profiles, and then uh, you can. Uh, you know, we we hope that you should be able to print in some capacity as well. Um, so tabs and notation, both programs have have that where applicable. Um, it's just going to be available kind of as an extra tab beneath the video, and those are both pretty good. Um, but for the rest of this, Jamplay just kind of um, owns uh, this table because they are really, really good when it comes to providing supplemental content. They almost always have some kind of audio file, some kind of chord diagram. Um, there is There are more elements of instructor interaction in Jamplay. It's not great, but... It's better than Guitar Tricks, uh, at, at least at least in, in most contexts. And then Jamplay is going to offer guitar profiles. They, they have those up pretty often, which is a really nice feature. And their printing option is a little bit easier to use. Uh, it's, it's built in natively whenever they have um, on-screen content. You can print it out really easily. So if that's something that you prioritize, Jamplay is probably a better option there because they just have so much more supplemental content. Like if you want stuff that you can print out and get in your hands and read and, uh, you know, take your audio files with you, stuff like that, uh, Jamplay is definitely a, uh, a better option there. Okay, so the last chart I want to go through is the song section. And uh, this, it, it, bo both programs have a song section. And, and when I say that, I mean licensed songs. So they're teaching you um, full songs by artists that you're familiar with, um, that type of thing. Now, I know that Jamplay has recently, I mean, not even recently, maybe a couple years ago, basically come out and said that they're not really prioritizing this anymore and i think part of the reason they did that was because guitar tricks just sort of ran away with this i mean they now now here it looks a little bit more even because this this needs updated <coughs> but guitar tricks has actually um surpassed a thousand licensed songs um and they just they're just kind of hauling on that part of their site they're they're far and away the best when it comes to this uh this particular topic, this particular aspect of learning guitar online, they have more songs than just about anybody. Um, and the Jamplay kind of came out and said like, well, you know, our users, 
um, you know, our, our members aren't really as interested in that. They aren't prioritizing that. Um, that's what Jamblay said. I don't know if I really buy that or not. I think they just kind of got outgunned here um, because their their song section is just it's just not as good. Uh, they just don't have as much, and maybe there's issues with getting stuff licensed. I know that Guitar Tricks has had trouble with that too, but um, for whatever reason, uh, Guitar Tricks, they have more songs. I think the, the, the score again right now would be more like 1,000 to 600. Like I said, I don't think Jamplay is adding to this anymore, um, but we would grade them on song coverage, like how completely do they explain it and demonstrate uh, the song. Um, Guitar Tricks has got an edge there. Their videos tend to be a little bit better. Again, navigation with guitar tricks is a little bit better. Instructors, um, both are really good. Sometimes Jamplay has, uh, like they'll have, um, they had the guy from Collective Soul come in and teach a couple songs. They had Stain's guitar player, Mike Mushak, come in and play a couple songs. Um, <coughs> and then the last thing we look at is whether or not they have easy song versions. So kind of like dumbed down version of songs that are a little bit easy to learn, like a, just with a simple chord progression. Uh, and Guitar Tricks does a little bit better there as well. All right, so that's all for this comparison of Guitar Tricks and Jamplay. If you want to check out more about each program, if you want to see a little bit more of like screenshots and um, different elements of each program, we have reviews where we go through all that. I'll link to those in the description. Or you can just go over to the sites themselves and check it out. We have links to free trials for both. Um, you can check those out. Those help us out a little bit. Um, but uh, otherwise, that's, that's pretty much, I think, the, the simplest way to compare the two. They're both good. Um, our, our grading system is a little bit subjective, but it is weighted, you know, so we just try to like, it's based on our experience. It's subjective in, in terms of it's based on, you know, the, the people that are testing it and, and myself, when I go through and use these, I try to uh, keep up to date on them as they change and incorporate that into our grading system. So take it for what it's worth. It's just meant to help and give an idea of which one would work work for different situations so uh, you can um, check those out and browse around a little bit and if you have questions or comments just hit a subscribe and the like button and leave your thoughts in the comment section below the video and we'll catch you guys next time